Based on what you said, segment of the bridges group na now actually, meron dito na sex performers. Part of it po, kasi po ang ganda ng pasukin na for so many kids nowadays, feeling nila ang highlight ng love is the sex part. Pero the sex part is always beautiful, it's always climactic, pabilis, feeling mo ang, ang guwapo, ang ganda ng kasex mo. But it's really the cutting part that will tell you, mahal mo ba to? Alam mo yun, kasi mabagal doon, makikita mo na, nahihita siya ganun ka-perfect. So yun po yung pinuntahan na ng story later on. Okay, thank you. Thank you po. Thank you. Dito naman, Sir Mel. Direct Ron, ano ba yung inahatap mo sa characters mo na parang ang hirap-hirap mo? Mm. Oo. Oh, oh. Age bracket, a ka character, personality. Ayun, sa lahat na nanonood sa Facebook, kung gusto nyo mag-audition, kung may mga interest kayo mag-pok-pok, kahit sa screen lang, ito po yung characterization. Una, yung babae, sana slightly younger, pero siya yung magtuturo sa character ng iba't ibang klase ng kantot. Kantot kalimot, kantot karpintero, kantot tobero, kantot marino, yun. So, magaan lang po yung role. <laughs> Yung sa lalaki, anyone na willing sumakay dun sa kantot na yun. Sige po. Sobrang wild pa na yung requirement. Eh? Mas wild siya verbally lang naman po. Mas salitahan talaga yung basis. Saan ang galing yung story material, yung germ of the story, yung idea? Ano po siguro, uh, bilang probinsyano po kasi ako, tapos yun nga, you've gone through so many love stories, you've met so many people, parang ang tanong lagi sa akin, hayaan mo ba tong fucked up world na to to fuck you into becoming a fucker like everyone else? Parang pag ginago ka ba, magiging gago ka na rin ba? Pag nagputa ka ba, magiging puta ka na rin po sa pagpamahal. So yun po. Pero nothing personal. Nothing <laughs> personal. <laughs> Direct, hindi, Direct Percy, ito sa tabla mong bida, ang lalaking pangalan, no? lalo na sa LGBT community, hindi kaya magkaroon ng parang sapawan or seksena like that. Lalo na nakatrabaho mo sila tatlo, right? Oo, oh, kaya nga, I think yung maganda daw kasi nakatrabaho ko na sila tatlo. Alam ko na what what uh, what to do, what the strengths are. At saka, ang, ano eh, yun yung uh, strength of the script. May, lahat ng characters yung moment talaga eh. Kasi we, we really view it as a multi-character story. At kailangan makita kung paano sila nagsama-sama. Si Derek June, baka pwedeng mag-share ng konting gist of the story or the three characters. Kasi inaabangan ng... Uh, um, Share, Pwede mo siguro i-share? Uh -huh. um, ang ang pinaka-gist nito, uh, magkakapatid sila na umalis sa bahay dahil yung tatay nila napaka-homophobic and hindi naging mabuti sa kanila. Okay. Uh, but years later na magkakahiwalay na sila, the dad is dying. At sinabi sa kanila na makukuha nga yung mana ninyong 300 million. Wow. Pero ang kailangan, bigyan niyo ako ng apo po. So, pang magiging contest. So, what happens to these gay characters na kinakilang makalalaki for the father? So, it's still about acceptance. Yeah. But, again, gagaya ng mga ginagawa namin, lagi namin ginadaan sa comedy yung pagkalaki ng mga serious uh, themes and topics. Anong pakiramdam ni Martinet? Ni Christian, una yung offer sa inyo yung role. Ako masaya. Kasi... Alam ko naman po, um, I hope na mangyari to one day ulit. Magsama-sama kami nila, Derek Schumann, Derek Percy. Natuwa lang ako na ito na siya. So, masaya ko. Tapos makakatrabaho ko si Martin and si Paolo ulit. So, kagaya nga ng kwento kay Derek Percy, nasa mall ako. Alam niyo naman po ako kapag na-excite kung ano yung emosyon ko sa moment na yun na ilalabas ko siya agad. Nagtatalon ako sa mall, wala akong pakialam sa mga taong dumadaan niya. So, ayun, ma masaya. So, parang excited kasi alam kong hopefully sa buong itong ginigol na ito. <laughs> uh, ako naman medyo fresh pa kasi yung word beautiful. Napag-uusapan namin na direct yung beautiful universe. Hindi ko naman inakala, very very soon na pala. So, alam mo yung excitement ko. Hindi ko, oo, oh, agad-agad. So, talagang grabe yung excitement ko. So, Nag-uusap pala kami ni Derek Percy, sabi ko, game na game na ako sa wala pa nga sinasabi ng manager. <laughs> Kanina nung nag-uusap pa kayo ni Christian na about Barbie, kanya, wala naman gano'n. Wala naman bro. Wala naman. Ah, Pinag-usapan namin na ngayon lang kami nakita after all, di ba? Parehas kami yung Barbs, pero ngayon lang kami nakita. Wala na saya. <laughs> <laughs> And last question to the two couples. Sa couple, ano ba yung kahirapan or uh, gaano kahirap or gaano kadali ang gumanap 
sa isang pelikula na kayo. Alam niyo po sa totoo lang, noong una, akala namin joke na may inquiry kaming dalawa for a movie. Oh. As in, parang totoo, totoo kaya to? Kasi nag-deal kami noong una, since magkahiwalay din po kami ng network, na hindi ayaw sana namin magtrabaho with each other. Pero since, ang ganda po ng script at maganda po yung story, and for me po, ito po yung unang lead ko sa isang pelikula, na may magandang script at magaling na direktor. Bakit ko hindi gagawin? So regardless po kung sino man po yung makapareha, gagawin ko po yung movie. Si Khalil, hindi ba na ilang? Uh, yeah, yun nga kasi yung foundation naman ng relationship namin ni Gag. Uh, we were friends first. Hindi kami magkatrabaho muna. So, uh, nung napag-usapan nga namin na, uh, kasi it's not, hindi, hindi malayong may mag-offer nga sa amin ng pelikula. So, pinag-usapan namin before, Oh, what if may dumating nga na movie or teleserye, you know, let, let's say a project kung sakali. Uh, so sa una, sabi namin, huwag na muna kasi ayaw namin i-cross yung work and relationship. Pero um, nung pinag-usapan namin na dumating yung LSS, I asked her kung, ako ba, kung hindi ba ako yung, yung kasama or yung kinas, kung ibang leading man tatanggapin mo ba? Sabi niya, yeah. Tapos sabi ko, ako rin naman. So ang importante sa amin, tinatanggap namin dahil sa kwento, dahil sa mga character, and it's a story that we want to tell the world. Yeah. Ano ka tagal na kayo? <laughs> Personal? Para lang info lang sa fans. Uh, we started dating 2017. So Derek, how do you find a couple of yourself? Uh, I love them both. Um, in fact, ako din kinabahan din ako. Talaga mong mag... Dito lang ako na mag-jowa. <laughs> so, so we made sure, like, workshop kami. I wanted to see kung talaga ba mag-work. Kasi minsan, baka liability pa yung totoong sila eh, di ba? Uh, especially dahil sa kwento, kakakilala pa lang sila sa simula ng film. So I wanted to make sure na mag-pull off nila yung hindi pa sila magkakilala. Uh, but then, they're both very good actors and they're well-disciplined. And they, and they enjoy the process also. So we had a good time and also I think, I think um, tama yung decision namin na mag-cast na mag-jowa or kahit mag-jowa sila kasi maganda pa rin kumulas. Thank you, Direk. Last po, uh, Liza and uh, Cherry Liza, yung bang uh, criteria for judging for the finished film almost the same with the selection of the scripts? Actually, uh, full disclosure, hindi talaga kami well, naggagawa ng criteria kasi uh, we believe uh, na hindi naman namin talaga ginigrade yung mga films. We're, we're, create, we're curating a selection which we believe uh, can be appreciated by the target audience na ini-aim na um, uh, i-cater ng PPP. So that's why I'm very, very proud dito sa selection na to. Kasi um, uh, ano, um, napakagaganda at napaka-focus ng target audience nila. You have Cuddle Weather that's appealing to a more mature millennial or yung mga pina, uh, siguro R13, R16 up. Uh, parang mga ganyan, so mas mature yung audience. So lumalaki at no, nag, uh, nag-widen yung range ng audience ng PPP. Of course, you have a millennial film that's talking about, you know, dreamers na nakapaloob sa isang, um, uh, sa songs ng Ben and Ben na talagang pag nakinalong mo ang kahit sino millennial, even my daughter, knows Ben and Ben. And then you have the Panty Sisters naman, na pang family, na isa, pa, isa to sa mga hindi pa masyadong na-explore na audience ng PPP. So this is the opportunity for us to bring in the families and, uh, and be part of, uh, of uh, our event this year. So ganun kami yung magproseso um, nila, Direct Joey. It's always a very democratic discussion. Um, we try to make sure na yung mga genre na, uh, tina, na uh, pipiliin namin are very different from each other. It's not your typical romantic comedy. It's not your typical romantic drama. So we're very open. Marami pa kami mga genre na hindi pa na-explore. Horror, action, historical films. I mean, there's so much more that we are looking for para makompleto natin yung ating walong uh, bagong pelikulang kalahok at uh, uh, ipipresent for pisa na pelikulang Pilipino. We're looking for five more. Hindi naman nalilipat na sa more on the commercial appeal, yung ganon. Um, we've gone through uh, the last three years of PBB is uh, is is an is an opportunity for us to understand our audience, 
and uh, uh, very clear tayo talaga sa PPP that PPP is a platform to reach out to the widest market possible because you're talking about 900 cinemas just showing uh, PPP films. So, dapat yung mga ka, uh, kahit sa mga probinsya, kahit sa mga regions, um, palatable at accessible sa kanila ang mga pelikulang ipapalabas natin. And I feel that these three films know their audience and understand how to get to the audience that um kinikater na PPP. That's why I'm very very proud of that. Congrats, thank you. May parada raw ba? Ang chair Lisa, may parade? Wala na pong parade. Wala na pong parade. Baka baguhin ulit. So magkakaroon po tayo. So instead of a parade, um, the Grand Fans Day of PPP is going to be like a Comic Con event. So kumbaga para siyang uh, eight different films uh, kung ano po yung genre nila para magkakaroon sila ng meet and greet sa mga artista uh, even with the fans and interaction with the fans last year to save what happened during the uh, PPP uh, Grand Fancy nagkaroon po kami ng ganong classic event kung saan may platforms at may corner po bawat isang pelikula at nagkaroon ng, ang, ng chance yung mga fans to interact with them so for example yung horror film natin magkakaroon ng mini horror house yung mga kung baga, it's going to be an experiential event for our fans at sa mga fans na uh, uh, fans si Ben and Ben Ben and Ben kahanda ko araw the joke kasi but uh, it's going to be that kind of um, experience kasi uh, I think sa generation ngayon uh, mas gusto nila na nakakasalamuha talaga nila yung mga artista ng inuulilo nila at sa mga pelikula ng gusto nila uh, panoorin. This one is hindi pasok do sa every Friday na opening na naging uh, September 12 this Wednesday. Right? September 12 is the gala night. Okay. So that is the one that starts the 100 years and the, that starts PPP. But screening is going to be from September 13 because of just Friday Thursday. opening, ah, which is a Friday, ah, okay. uh, to the 19th. Yeah. Ayan na siya. So, talagang start na yung Friday? Oo, uh -oh, Friday, effective na yan uh, by, hopefully, uh, by May. April or uh, May? Inaayos na namin, may meeting kami bukas with, uh, ah, okay. may DWG meeting with uh, the cinemas and the producers for the continuation of uh, the policy guidelines na ilalabas ng FPCP para sa pagpapalabas ng mga pelikula sa mga cinema. Pati ba yung foreign films Friday or local lang? Yes, uh, the goal is for all films to uh, okay. follow the the policy guidelines. It's not just exclusively for Filipino okay. films. May mga, isa, may mga ibang items lang doon na just for Filipino films, for example, yung mga prices, student prices, mga ganyan. Salamat. Thank you. May follow-up question lang.